welcome to BAM Animation, the show where we redraw the art that you guys send us. I'm your minty fresh background designer, Brent Knoll. And I'm your tutti fruity character designer, Maximus Possen. And together, we're both professional designers at Real Animation Studios in Burbank, California. Now let's redraw some art! Today on BAM, we're gonna jump into some animation and show you how we made this walk cycle. This is gonna be a great video if you wanna learn how animation works or if you wanna start learning how to animate. You'll need a tablet and we recommend Adobe's new rebranded animation software, Adobe Animate. Today we got a dope ass, sick ass drawing from Samir. Since Brent is gonna be doing most of the animation leg work on this, <laughs> bam.redrawmyart at gmail.com. I'm gonna use a style from one of Brent's short films. Link below. Those circles are pretty clean, bro. How'd you do that? It's so easy, dude. Everybody should know how to make a perfect circle in Photoshop. Create a new layer and select the ellipse tool. Set your ellipse to shape mode. Set your fill to no fill. And set your line to however thick you want it. Now pull out an ellipse. Now try and resize it and you'll notice that the line retains the same width. When you like the size, right click the layer and select Rasterize. All done. Whoa, dude, this is awesome. So how are we gonna animate him now? To do this right, we need to understand how a walk cycle works. We're going to look at Richard Williams' breakdown of a walk cycle. These are the key poses that make up a person walking. We're not gonna use this exactly, but it's essentially a blueprint of the main drawings that we will need. You might think that's a lot of drawings, but only two are really important. The contact pose and the passing pose. The contact pose is where the front foot hits the ground. The passing pose is when the legs are passing each other. I'm gonna trace your drawing and start adjusting things. I'll start by just drawing the contact pose of the legs. I'm gonna do these on their own layers so that way I can focus on just the movement of the legs. Okay, I found the speed I want. It looks like it's gonna be about 20 frames long and repeating. And actually I skipped every other frame, so it's only 10 drawings. That's called animating on twos. The drawing is held for two frames. So now we're gonna take his body and add a little bounce. He's gonna go up when he's about to step and down after he makes contact with the ground. You're not gonna draw every body position. Instead, Brent is going to make the body into a symbol and move the symbol up and down. We also need to get his arms swinging. They're gonna speed up mid-swing and slow down at both peaks when the arms are changing direction. That's called adjusting the spacing. It gives the movement more personality. Drawings close together equal slow, and drawings far apart equal fast. For some finishing touches, let's offset the motion a bit so that his head bounces on top of his body. It's pretty subtle, but it adds a lot. For the fire, we're gonna make a looping animation of 10 drawings, and then put all of those frames inside a symbol, and then we'll have the symbol move up and down slightly. Well, here it is, dude, all cleaned and colored. Oh my god, dude, that's sick, dude. Look at the gumballs moving in his head. <laughs> Dude, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Walk cycles are one of the first things you learn in animation, and they can be a challenge even for the most experienced animator. You should show your walk cycle to your peers and see what they think. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I thought your walk cycle could probably use a little bit more, like, a dynamic breakdown in the in-betweens. Well, we really have a blast drawing with you guys. Right, but before you go, we have a few things. We were recently on an episode of the Animation Success Stories podcast. Yeah, and on the episode, we answer lots of questions about our art, our life, our school, and you get a real in-depth look about us as an artist. 
check out the link below. Going to a school like Art Center or Cal yeah. Arts would be is that once you're all out, you're all pushed off the cliff. Do you want to see your art featured in an episode? Send an email to bam.redrawmyart at gmail.com. We'll make an episode all about you. That's right. bam.redrawmyart at gmail.com. So share these videos with your art friends and get them to send in their art as well. So get us some views, guys. And get us some art. We're a growing channel like a plant. Water us with your views and, <laughs> and nourish our soil with your art. Cut. Cut. <laughs> that was a good take, man. This copy sucks, Brent. Who wrote this? Who wrote this shit, dude? <laughs> it's a good walk cycle. Why you gotta be so hard, man?